Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.1.2 update which I received yesterday on my iPhone 13. In this video, I'm going to talk about what are the new features, what are the bug fixes and also as you can see from the screenshot, um, I was not able to get the update size but I know for sure that the update size was pretty less. It was between 250 to 300 MB on my iPhone 13. So if you're having iPhone 13, so update would be between 250 to 300 MB. Otherwise, the update size will vary, but it will be between 350 to 400 MB for iPhone 14 or 14 Pro Max as well. In this video, let's talk about what are the new features, what are the new changes that you can expect with iOS 16.1.2. Also, I'm going to talk about are there any improvements after updating to iOS 16.1.2 on my iPhone 13. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. That motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos on YouTube. Now, with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So the first things first, if I go to the settings, general and about section, and as you can see, if I closely show you the iOS version, it says iOS 16.1.2. So before this, I was using iOS 16.1.1 and the new build number, as you can see, if I tap on it, the new build number is 20B110. I had taken a screenshot, uh, you know, let me find the screenshot. As you can see, before updating, it was on iOS 16.1.1. And as you can see, before updating, the modem firmware was 2.12.02. And you know there is no change in the modem firmware so as you can see the modem firmware is same after updating as well now one good thing is that you know regarding the available free storage as you can see before updating if I could just show you as you can see it was 72.48 gigabyte and after updating it has increased for about 2 to 3 gigabytes so you know definitely update to the latest iOS 16.1.2 now you should be able to receive this update if you are on iOS 16 and if you are a part of stable series of updates now if you are not able to get this update go to this you know settings and gen general and then software updates make sure that your automatic updates are off and then again try so you should be able to get this update you don't need to install any special extra ios 16 beta profile to get this update this is a part of stable series of update now make sure that if you are on ios 16 beta series of softwares you are already on a newer version of ios so this update is not for you so if you are on iOS 16 or iOS 16.1.1 then you should be able to receive this update. Now let's take a closer look on this you know, screenshot. So as you can see from the screenshot it clearly says this update provides important security updates and the following enhancement for your iPhone. Now what are the enhancement? It says that it improved the compatibility with the wireless network providers and also specially this update was released for iOS 14 and 14 Pro models. As it says it improved the crash detection and optimization on iPhone 14 and 14 Pro models. Apart from these two things, also Apple included some security features or security bug fixes with this update. So if you go to security.apple.com, you should be able to find that. But I tried to find that as you can see with iOS 16.1.2, they haven't updated their security notes yet. But this is an important update as the, it is a security update. So you should definitely update to iOS 16.1.2. Now talking about new features there are no new features if you are using you know iPhone 14 or 14 Pro models the crash detection was one of the new features that got introduced with iPhone 14 and 14 Pro models then you need to go to the settings and then emergency SOS and there you will be able to see the crash detection option so what was happening with the initial release of crash detection people were going to roller coaster and then people were going to theme park if they were taking a ride and if the phone was detecting a movement and in that you know in that scenario they were calling the emergency services but in reality people were just you know enjoying the roller coaster ride so you know apple has you know had that news and they got the feedback so they have tried to improve that with this ios 16.1.2 update that was the new thing for iphone 14 and 14 pro models but apart from that you know there are security improvements and also as i said before there are no new modem firmwares but as in the screenshot they have mentioned that you know it also provides the compatibility and improvement with your existing network providers if you are using 4g or 3g it should improve the connection although the new modem firmware 
numbers are not there in this update, but it should still improve the connection. So, if I go to the settings and if I go to the cellular and after that if I click on cellular data options and click on voice and data, as you can see after updating to iOS 16.1.2 as well, I only have the option to 4G and 3G. So, in India as I said before, the 5G option will be available with iOS 16.2 update which is not this update. This update is iOS 16.1.2 update. This includes some security features and you know crash detection improvements for iPhone 14 and 14 Pro models. This was fairly a small size update. We are seeing some new kind of you know security response update with iOS 16.2. So probably in future whenever uh, Apple needs to you know push out a security update they don't need to push out and you know iOS update probably they can just simply push out a security response update which you can install within a minute right. So that is yet not implemented on the stable series of updates probably I hope to get that feature soon with iOS 16.2 and if I talk about whether you should update to iOS 16.1.2 or not I would definitely say yes because this is a security update and this shouldn't affect your battery life and performance and you know battery life and performance is something that I cannot comment about just now because I've just updated a few hours back and I will make a follow-up review this Sunday so wait for my follow-up review on this Sunday but if you want to know about the Geekbench 5 I have rammed the Geekbench 5 and as you can see the single core score came in about 1737 and the multi core score came in about 4634 so these are the uh, single and multi core score on Geekbench 5 the scores are good it's not that bad but I'll talk about more about the battery life and the performance after using with iOS 16.1.2 for few days so stay tuned and wait for the follow-up review on iOS 16.1.2 so then again that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section which iPhone you are using and have you received iOS 16.1.2 update or not I hope you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and again thank you so much for your love and continuous support we reached 5,000 subscriber I promise to put out more content like this on YouTube. So thank you so much for your love and support and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.